Hey guys, sorry for the long absence. I have been on a very long, almost three week fishing trip down at Grand Lake, Oklahoma. So thanks for all the new subscribers. Uh, the channel is slowly growing, but it is growing, so that's a good thing. So thank you guys for that. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe down below and hit that subscribe button. Let's jump right into this video. It's a lot of fish down at Grand Lake. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am getting ready to fish a golf course pond. Made a trip up here to uh, Grand Lake, Oklahoma. I'm gonna do some fishing over the next couple weeks. And um, I came over here on my work lunch break and ended up catching a pretty nice bass. Uh, of course I caught it and the GoPro wasn't rolling, but I did get this footage right here, so check that out. Hey guys, I was taking a lunch break. I ran back into the pond the house and caught this 3.88 pounder first cast uh wasn't planning on filming but caught this guy so i need to hurry up and go get him back in the water there you go 3.88 pounder that's pretty awesome i'm gonna put this on my chest and uh get to fishing see if i can catch another one out of here see if i can find another giant so on that fish Came down here over my lunch break and it was the first cast right where I'm at and uh, didn't even know he was on there at first I thought I caught grass there's a lot of moss and grass right here and uh, then I figured out it was a big one of course now I have my camera on probably not gonna show up for you I also fished this pond back in January. Ended up catching two nice bass. Let me show you some pictures of those real quick. It's pretty stoked to be able to catch those in January when it was really cold out. It came off. That felt weird. That felt weird. Son of a... The old hook set that time. Just a wee little guy compared to that last one though. That first one, my drag slipped really bad, but I tightened it up and it seemed to give me a better hook set that time. That one feels good. Uh, it might be smaller. That's smaller. He's a skier. He's going skiing. God, it felt big at first. <laughs> smaller than the last one. Just a wee little guy. Tell you what, guys, I'm wearing the worst shoes possible down here. They're getting soaked. Plus, they have like holes in the bottom for breathing. Freaking awful. God. Damn it. Try 
drags look bad on that one. I don't know how my drag got loose. I just tightened it. Hey. Oh, 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 I'll be playing the slow-mo replay on that. Oh, he chased it. He didn't have a hold of it, though. He had a hold of its tail. Oh my god, I messed it again. What is that? Huh? What is that? About lost her. Alright guys, new day today. Going back to that pond on a lunch break right now from work and when I did that yesterday I caught that big fish and of course you know it happened when I wasn't wearing the GoPro so thought I'd put it on for a quick five minutes of fishing so see if I can catch one in about five minutes or so maybe ten we'll, we'll go for five minutes though some geese in my spot I hope they move we're gonna have a battle royale Bad one. Finally, a hook set. What was that? Like fourth cast? Not like yesterday, but I'll take it. Real nice fish. Belly flop. Nice one. Not too bad. Woo! Right in the bottom of the mouth. It's about a, I don't know, shy under two. Not too bad. That was huge, whatever that was. That was huge. And these fish, they can see you coming. You really gotta hide from them. 
you can see them swim off too when they know you're here something had it something had it Time for some skiing. Ooh. Not a bad one. Something moved over there. I cast it, had some backlash, and so sat there for a while and set the hook, and he was on there. Not bad, not bad. Sorry, I got to toss them past the grass there. All right, guys, I definitely been out here longer than I thought I would. I need to get back to work. But I'm going to make one more cast. Last cast for bass. Alright guys, back to work. Stayed out here way too long. Hard to leave fish when you're catching them. On that note, make sure to subscribe. Do me a favor, help me out here. Subscribe to my channel. Maybe I can do this full time one day. Hey guys, just got off work. I'm making a much longer walk. To another pond that I've never fished before and I'm gonna see if there's any bass in this one I'm not sure if there are or not so hopefully there are if not we'll stay there for a little while and then maybe try the other one on the way back so nipped at the tail again Not much of a fish. Oh, yeah, it's because it's barely getting hooked. That's tiny. First cast back in there. Another dink. Smaller than the last one. That means the next one's gonna be big, right? All right guys, so there's some fallen tree limbs from these trees. That might be the only structure in this lake and it seems like there's a couple on there. Let's see if I can get another one. Just swimming it through those tree branches. There's one. Missed it. Missed it. That was a baby. I could, I could tell that was a baby. Look what it did to my swim bait. climbing up here on this hill because it's, it's kind of a clear pond especially if you have polarized lenses and I'm trying to spot a fish from up here super shallow on this end of the pond right here I don't see a fish swimming or anything Oh, did you 
Did you see that? <laughs> oh. I can't. Got him. Oh, he messed everything up. All right, guys, the battery died. I hope that was on film, but I set the hook on that little guy so hard it just sent him to the moon. So that was, uh, that was really funny. Um, made a huge knot, but I got it untangled. Got the battery changed out, and I kind of see some activity out there in the middle. Wind's dying down, it's coming slick calm. So I'm kind of staying up high away from the bank in case, you know, in case I see something. I don't want to spook it. So I'm gonna cast out in the middle there, see if, see if I can get that fish to bite. Oh, well, there's activity right there. Maybe I'll try that first. There's a bite. Right where I said it was. Oh, that one felt decent. That one felt decent. Had a bite right there and kind of let it go. Felt small. There's a fish. They're tiny guys. Don't want to set the hook on them because you know they're pecking at it like bluegill. But they're bass. They're not bluegill. I have to eventually hit one big one, right? I'm not sure what that was I think that was a really 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 tiny fish Small ones are tough to hook. My swim bait is destroyed. It's lasting though. I'm getting my money's worth out of it, that's for sure. Like every time it hits out there, bite. They just don't engulf it though. There's a bite. There's a bite. See? See my rod tip shaking? I just don't feel like setting the hook on those little guys because. They're so hard to hook. If they want to take it, they'll take it. They'll freaking engulf it. There's one. Nope. I think they just hold the tail in their mouth or something. I like to pull it out of their mouth. I pull the tail of the swim bait out of their mouth. He's a big fish takes us. I'm not going to know what to do anymore. It's in its mouth right now. He's swimming with it. It is in his mouth. I'm going to try to set the hook on it. There we go. Oh, and it came off. <laughs> he was tiny. This is so interesting. Fish has it right now. Look at my rod tip. I got this one hooked.
Got you, buddy. Where's your mom at, though? Where's your mom at, though? Swimming with it again. I have to call it quits on this pond, guys. This is fun and all, but they're tiny. I think it's because this, this pond just isn't that deep. I wish you guys could feel my fishing pole and just feel it shake and you can kind of get a feel for how tiny these fish are. Watch my rod tip right here. It's just gonna bounce. There's one right there. I think this whole pond is no less than like four feet deep. I think it has the potential to get a lot higher, but it's down really low for some reason. I don't know why it's low because it rains a lot here. All right, out to make a move. All right, I'm heading over to this other pond. Uh, good fishing, and I'm tired of catching those dinks, but it was fun for a little bit. Good to learn the pond. About four or five feet deep, like I mentioned. Uh, this one has a little bit more depth to it. Des definitely has way more grass for them to live in, which is which is good, but it's also bad for fishing. So um, I'm gonna present a different swim bait, dig up, see what I got, and see if I can catch a decent one. <laughs> 